हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स इन टेक नंबर 294 आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू टू इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ पाइप्स एंड सिस्टम्स नाउ दीज आर वेरी फ्रीक्वेंट क्वेश्चंस इन बोर्ड एग्जाम्स एंड आल्सो इन ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स नाउ सी दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम विच आई एम टेकिंग देर इज ए पाइप ए विच कैन फिल ए टैंक इन सिक्स आवर्स एंड ए पाइप बी विच कैन फिल इट इन एट आवर्स सो लेट मी जस्ट राइट इट हियर so this is a and this is b total time taken is 6 hours for pipe a and 8 hours for pipe b if both work together and after 2 hours pipe a is closed how much time b will take to fill the remaining tank so these kind of problems when the first pipe is closed after some time and the remaining work is to be done by the second pipe alone these are very common questions and you need to know the method by heart now see this is one hour work if a is taking 6 hours to complete the task then 1/6 of the work is done in one hour similarly if b is taking 8 hours it will take 1 by 8 Uh, this much amount of work will be done in one hour so if you see they both work together so in one hour the work done is together is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 8 and if you know the lcm of 6 and 8 8 3 are 24 so 24 is divided by 6 so this becomes 4 Plus three. This is seven by twenty-four. So seven by twenty-four. This is the amount of work done when both of them work together. Now, for how much time they work together? And for two hours they work together. So this is in one hour. So in two hours, total work is seven by twenty-four multiplied by two because this is the work done in one hour. So when we have to convert it into two hours, we just multiply it by two. So this will become seven upon twelve. So this much work is done in two hours when they work together. Now what happens after that? Pipe A is closed. So we need to find out how much work is remaining. So work remaining is total work is always one. Seven by twelve is done. So one minus seven by twelve. This is five upon twelve. now this much work is to be done by b alone so now come back to b b was taking 8 hours to complete the work so time taken by b alone is 5 by 12 that is the remaining work multiplied by the time taken by b alone so this becomes uh, 5 into 8 is 40 Forty by twelve, or if you cancel this out, this will become ten by three, or three one by three hours is your final answer of this question. I have written all the steps here just to clarify what steps we have to follow. But if you have understanding of this, we you can skip so many steps from here. And in competitive exams, this might not take more than ten seconds for you to solve. likewise i have one more question here of time and work in this question i have taken three pipes now see pipe a is filling the tank in 12 hours point pipe b is doing it in 16 hours so two pipes are there whose time to fill the tank is given and there is a pipe c which empties the tank in 8 hours so there are two pipes which can fill the tank and one pipe which can empty the tank now what happens all the three are turned on together so all the three taps pipes are turned on so two are filling it and one is emptying it but since there are two pipes which are filling it so the water level will rise and we need to find out the time taken to fill the tank when all the three are turned on so see the again a very simple problem of pipes and cisterns now this is pipe a this is pipe b and this is pipe c So what you do if pipe A is taking 12 hours, pipe B is taking 16 hours, and pipe C is emptying it in 8 hours. So one hour work is 1 by 12, one hour work is 1 by 16, and one hour work is 1 by 8. So 
when we have to find out the work done in one hour when they are switched on together, then 1 by 12 plus 1 by 16 because they are filling it and this is emptying. So emptying part is always subtracted from the filling part. So these are two are filling so they will be taken as positive but emptying one will be taken as negative because that is negative work done. So now you just solve this and if you know the basics of how to find LCM then you will be able to do this very easily. See these three numbers are divisible by 4. So if you take out the common factor 4 this becomes 2, this becomes 3 and this becomes 4. So 4, 2, 3 and 4. So these are basically the numbers 4 will be there and 2, 3 and 4 you don't want 2 because 2 is a factor of 4. So 4, 3 is a 12, 12, 4 is a 48 is the LCM. Now divide this, this becomes 4, divide this, it becomes 3, divide this, it becomes 6. So this will come out to be 7 minus 6, 1, 1 upon 48. So this much work is done in 1 hour. Therefore, total time, you need to find the total time in which the tank is to be filled. So total time is just take the reciprocal of this 48 hours is your final answer. So from this concept we learn that if there is a question involving filling and emptying both then the filling ones are to be added and the emptying one is to be subtracted after having converted them into one hour work. So I hope this video will benefit you in solving two very important problems of pipes and cisterns. Till then, till we have new videos on pipes and cisterns, keep sharing and subscribe to the channel if you like it.